But you know what? I'm 58 years old. I've been working since I was 18. I got 40 years I've been working, and I've spent my money the last few years on sporting events because I don't have to pay for a wife and kids. Um, I don't have that overhead. And I was lucky I came from a successful family, and I have real estate property owned. And so I have the money to do that. I just It never got public until this stupid orange jersey came out by accident. Otherwise, I was here at the World Series in 03, and I was been going to this stuff since 2001. Nobody said a word. But now I've got discovered. In, in Miami, it's like, oh, that's Lawrence. He's been doing this forever. So, obviously, you're in the Marlins jersey, but you're from Atlanta. Are you a Braves fan or are you a Marlins no. fan or a baseball fan or what? I'm a baseball fan. And what happened was the only reason I became a Braves fan is they didn't have baseball in Miami when I was growing up. There was no Marlins. So I went to school in 1974. I was a Braves fan. And then in 1980, when I was in law school and there still was no Marlins, I became a Yankee fan. I rooted for the Yankee all those years until the 97 World Series. And then when the Marlins got good, I switched from being a Braves fan, and I was happy they won the World Series in 91, to a Marlins fan. And then when they first were playing the Yankees, I was so excited because I said, nobody can lose here. I have a winner no matter what. And then somebody reminded me that before the season started, I bought a chess set, and the chess set was Yankee players and Marlins players. And they all kept saying, if you had bet that preseason, you'd have been retired. I could have retired. You would have been really rich. Nobody had picked the Marlins and the Yankees. In fact, a cute thing is, I have Cubs, Red Sox tickets that the Cubs printed. They were associated with a World Series printed for 03 on the wall of my office. The Cubs were convinced they were going to beat the Marlins and play the Red Sox, and they printed those exact tickets. So you mentioned that nobody really noticed this until this year because of the orange jersey and everything. How have you taken all the publicity, I guess you could say, or stuff Hasn't like Hasn't changed me. One thing I learned about, though, is there's a lot of haters out there. Mm -hmm. A lot of hate mail I got, a lot of derogatory stuff. And at first it bothered me. I don't even care. Once they meet me, they know me, and they get to know me, they believe it. And I made a decision early, early on that if this got to be big, I wouldn't say no to anybody for interview or pictures. And I also decided I'd be use this for better good for everybody else. So I have this phrase called pay it forward. And I say, if I bring you to a game or do something for you as a total stranger, all you got to do is do me a favor, do something once for some strange person. And it's spreading everywhere like this. And I'm really happy about that. That's great. Last night I brought 54 people who I didn't know. I brought 54 people. I didn't know. I put it up on the internet. I gave tickets away outside gate four. On Monday night, I brought 106. I didn't know. Didn't meet them before. And then and in San Francisco and in St. Louis, I brought people and I have, they call them like my little entourage, but I'm not making a name for that group. I should call them, the guy should be manatees and the girls should be mermaids. But they're not Marlins fans, so I don't want to have them called manatees and mermaids in St. Louis or New York. So essentially, you don't go to these games alone at all? I go alone. Mm -hmm. But I don't bring anybody. I was bringing the same from New York, a Yankees fan, and she wanted to be the Yankees chick. Her name was Christina Bonin. And unfortunately for her, we broke up and we're still good friends like two weeks before the World Series started. So she was the Yankees chick going everywhere with me in Yankees clothes with a Yankee purse for like two years. But she didn't hang in there long enough to get discovered. 